Yo, the Hunter Biden chaos today was wild. But before we jump into the dumpster fire, I gotta give you some background on it. Right, today's drama wasn't about Hunter's criminal indictments relating to his taxes and gun purchase. Instead, it was about his foreign business dealings in Ukraine and China, which Republicans alleged that his father was involved in while vice president. Though notably, and the key thing, so far they have produced no direct evidence of any corruption on the part of Joe Biden. But you know, that didn't stop them from launching an impeachment inquiry. And so as a part of that, they're saying that Hunter's testimony is crucial. So House Republicans subpoenaed him for a closed door deposition last month. But instead, on that day, Hunter stood outside the Capitol, saying that that he would only testify in public, explaining that he feared that the GOP would selectively leak or misrepresent his testimony if it was done behind closed doors. And with that, citing past comments by both chairmen of the House Judiciary and Oversight Committees that it could take place in public. Yeah, both chairmen, James Comer and Jim Jordan, they've insisted, no, Hunter has to do it closed doors. So today, both committees held hearings to vote on whether to recommend criminal contempt of Congress charges against Hunter. And initially, they, they kicked off as you'd expect. Republicans throwing around allegations of corruption and subpoena defiance. Democrats then pushing back, calling the hearings a joke, accusing Republicans of hypocrisy for ignoring subpoenas themselves by the January 6th committee. Right, Jordan, Perry, and Biggs defied legal subpoenas. But then, before opening statements even finished, everything went off the rails at the Oversight Committee. Because the man himself, Hunter Biden, strolled in, flanked by his attorneys, and he planted himself right in the front row. With GOP Representative Nancy Mace absolutely flipping her shit. So much so, it seemingly broke her brain and she went full social justice warrior. My first question is, who bribed Hunter Biden to be here today? That's my first question. Um, second question, you are the epitome of white privilege, coming into the Oversight Committee, spitting in our face, ignoring a congressional subpoena to be deposed. What are you afraid of? You have no balls to come up here and- M Mr. Chairman, point of inquiry. Mr. Chairman, um, if the, the lady recognized if, the gentle, if the general lady I'm wants to hear from things. Hunter Biden, we can hear from him right now, Mr. And Chairman. Let's take a vote and hear from I'm Hunter speaking. Biden. I think but, that uh, that Hunter Biden should be arrested right here, right now, and go straight to jail. Our nation is founded on the rule of come law. Come on, come on. And the premise come that on. the law applies equally to everyone, no matter what your last Point of order, Mr. Chairman. Then you Democrat Jared Moskowitz interrupting her to ask this question. I don't know if there's a proper motion, Mr. Chairman, but I'll make a motion. Let's vote. Let's take a vote. Who wants to hear from Hunter right now, today? Anyone? Come on. Who wants to hear from Hunter? Yeah. No one. Oh, there's one. Thank you. Though to be fair, uh, another Republican claim House rules prevented them from calling up a witness without giving notice days in advance. But regardless of him not testifying, they were willing to go after him. And the last one up there was Marjorie Taylor Greene. And she was last because as soon as she got up, this happened. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, excuse going? me, Hunter. Oh, apparently you're afraid of my going? words. Uh, here goes. <laughs> oh. I think it's clear and obvious for everyone watching this hearing today that Hunter Biden is terrified of strong conservative Republican women. But then Representative Garcia responding to that, essentially saying there's no reason for Hunter Biden to stay if the GOP is not going to let him testify and if it's just to allow, of all people, MTG to throw shit his way. I, I think it's um, it's really uh, interesting to hear the gentle lady from Georgia uh, speak about Hunter Biden leaving. And she is the person that showed nude photos of Hunter Biden in this very committee room showing showing dick pics in this committee room uh, of of Hunter Biden. And AOC then adding on to that. The chairman said in front of the country several times to Hunter Biden, you can show up here in front of the world, in front of the public. Hunter Biden took him up on that offer. He said, I will show up in public. I will show up in public. He showed up here today. He showed up here in the past. And Mr. Chairman, I know you do your best with what you've got, but you've got members here that have submitted falsified evidence to the record. You have members here that have submitted and mischaracterized closed door hearings. And people want to say back and forth at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what party it's happened from. You've got members who've engaged in revenge porn in this committee. So it is understandable why Hunter Biden would want to testify in front of the public for the American people to be able to witness that testimony uh, it, uh, for themselves. But ultimately, that's where we are. You know, as of recording this, committees are expected to approve the contempt resolution, after which they'll then go to the full House for a floor vote. And at that point, if the House votes yes, it'll be up to the Justice Department whether to pursue charges, which for Republicans is very much a win-win. Because either they take on the case, so the circus continues, or they don't take on the case because they don't think it has merit and Republicans will accuse them of political bias. So yeah, you know, uh, fun times.